The first step in the synthesis of ketamine involves bromocyclopentane reacting with magnesium metal to generate a Grignard reagent. We'll react it with this substituted aromatic nitrile. The Grignard reagent behaves essentially as a carbanion and attacks the nitrile to give us this substituted imine, which is hydrolyzed to a ketone during a workup with water and acid. The next step involves the loss of this proton to form an enol, which reacts with molecular bromine in a simple bromination reaction. This should seem reminiscent of the iodoform reaction, but it goes cleanly because there's only one proton that can react. Once we've got this product, we'll react it with an aqueous solution of methylamine to generate a different imine. Water will also displace the bromine in a simple SN2 reaction. The final step is a rearrangement process. The oxygen electrons push down, forming a double bond and causing one of the ring bonds to migrate, sliding across and reducing the imine to an amine as it accepts the electrons. There's an internal proton transfer involved. And you can see we've changed the oxidation states of these atoms internally, so we didn't need to specifically reduce the imine like in the other syntheses.